My name is Joshua Cosman. I'm going to be the critic in residence at the Rubin Institute for Music Criticism at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. There's an old proverb that says that a critic is someone who conducts his education in public, and that is very true. I have learned how true that is. Anytime you go to a concert and afterwards a friend or an acquaintance or somebody that you run into says, how was it? And you answer, and your answer is music criticism. That is what we do. And that is what professional critics do, and that's what anyone who sits down to write a review is, is essentially doing a formalized version of that conversation. There are three essential elements to a review. One is basic data, basic repertorial data. Who was performing? What were they performing? Where, where was the performance? That kind of thing. I mean, you just, you know, you have to be a reporter on the ground and that's very basic to the task. The second thing is to, well, the third thing is to, is to give a kind of a critical judgment of how successful or unsuccessful or how the performance was. The second thing, uh, uh, which leads into that, is to say why you thought that. The second thing I think is where people too often uh, fall down, where they, where they feel that it's enough to just dispense judgments, good, not good, good, not good, uh, without saying why or what's informing those decisions. And without the information, it's very hard for readers to compare the critic's reaction to their own, which is kind of, I think, what one wants to do when reading criticism. When I write, I write as a member of the audience for my fellow audience members. I don't presume to give uh, vocal lessons or piano lessons or conducting lessons to people who actually know what they're doing on, that, on those points and, and understand the task far better than I ever could. What I do is I sit in the audience and reflect back how those, how those efforts come across. So my advice to someone trying this for the first time is trust your reaction. Trust your reaction to, the con to, to what you've heard and what you've witnessed and be assured that you are right in thinking what you think. Criticism is always an act of post facto rationalization of what your emotional and immediate and instinctive reaction to a work of art or a performance is. In a way, our guilty little secret is that, yes, it is easier to write a negative review than a positive review. Um, for one thing, there's, there's a million ways that a performance or a piece can go wrong. Um, and there's relatively fewer ways that things can go gloriously right. I like to use the example of uh, the great mezzo-soprano Lorraine Hunt Lieberson, who died uh, of cancer far too young and far too early, and I heard her sing many times. And they were some of the most transcendently beautiful performances that I ever heard, and it was always a joy to hear her sing, and it was always very, very difficult to write about it, because ultimately there was very little you could say except, oh, oh my God. And you know, that doesn't really fill the column inches. <laughs> My work gives me great pleasure all the time. I mean, it's, it's difficult and it's, and it's uh, rewarding all at the same time, which is why they call it work, you know. Um, and, uh, but I feel very fortunate to be able to do what I do.